Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And as you know, my chronograph has been destroyed, so no range testing. So that gives us a great chance to do some bullet coating with high tech today. And so I got my high tech going, and something very interesting has cropped up. So the title of this video is Assessing the results of our efforts in powder coating and high teching and what does this mean in our significance for our shooting so for our high tech bullet coatings the instructions say we do the acetone test and the way that works is after we get one of our bullets all coated with the high tech we put acetone on a paper towel and then rub the bullet for 30 seconds. And if you get nothing coming off, it passes the acetone test. Then we do the smash test. Take one of the bullets and we smash it down until it's flat and examine for the coating to separate from the bullet. As you see here, there's no separation. We've got good coating. So we go ahead and load these bullets and they will shoot well for us and indeed they have. My last test, the barrel leading was very minor and easily removed with standard cleaning techniques. So this passes the tests and demonstrated shooting well. This is the high tech old gold color and works out very nicely for us. However, this batch of the black cherry color didn't look like it coated that well. There's a lot of areas where it didn't cover in the grease grooves. Now that might be okay, but it causes us some suspicion. So when we tested these bullets, here's what we got. As you see there, the acetone test, the bullet failed the acetone test. Didn't even have to rub hard and that color came off. Now what that means is we may have had too low a temperature for the black cherry color or didn't bake it long enough or any number of other problems so we got we have to go back to square one with the black cherry now if you shoot these you'll get some barrel letting and definitely the longer your barrel is the more letting you're going to get the more problems you're going to get shooting these bullets. So we don't want to use these bullets except for very, very light cowboy action shooting bullets in our revolvers. And the shorter the barrel, the better. But even then, we're going to have leading in the forcing cone area and the first part of the barrel. Not the best. We're going to have to do some oven calibration to get success with the black cherry high-tech. Is this a condemnation on high-tech bullet coatings? Not at all. Just that our technique with the black cherry is going to take a little more work to uh, get that finalized for us, for our use. Now for our regular powder coating using the Harbor Freight Red or even any of the Eastwood powders, if you take one of your powder coated bullets and you smash it down like this, and you see how the powder coat has just sheared off and broken off and come off the uh, bullet metal underneath. That is a failure. Shooting these bullets will result in very bad barrel letting and very bad performance. Not recommended. Well, what causes this? If when you finish tumbling your hand tumble and you see that the powder has not stuck to the bullets and you insist on going ahead thinking that maybe you'll put on a second or third coat later on you've got uneven coating of the powder on the bullets that will lead to poor bonding of the powder coat to the bullets and frustration if you don't get even coating and the powder sticking to the bullets, it's pointless 
to proceed. Do not go ahead and bake those unless you just want to waste your time. Now if you get a thin coating of the powder onto your bullets and you see the powder is sticking, you can proceed because a second coat will help that later on if you insist upon doing that. The best is if you see an even coating of the powder on the bullets and you will have success when you go ahead and bake those. And success looks like this. Here you see four of our favorite colors. The three on the right are Eastwood colors. Recognize the Ford Light Blue, the Pastel Gray in the second position, and also the Vermilion in the third position. And you see that those powders have coated and bonded nicely where the hammering flat of the bullets did not break them loose. This one's thus upside down. So those are successfully bonded powder coated bullets and you'll have success and good clean shooting. The one on the left is the Harbor Freight Red but the Eastwood bright red is just the same. Those are good successful passes on the smash test. By the way with our powder coats there is no acetone test. But even if you did use the acetone test the coatings of powder coat are impervious to acetone. Now as you can see you can even smash them thinner and the powder coat still stays on. No need to smash them this thin but you can and you see success there. Now even some of your fancier colors like the Candy Raspberry by Eastwood coats very well. As you see we flatten it down like this and it's still on there. So again this is a pass. That powder coat is bonded on there. Now even our pastel gray Eastwood using the 458 caliber bullets, the big bullets, you can flatten them down and sure they're real hard lead but you can flatten them down and you can see in this portion on top that that powder coat is going to stay on there. We can shoot this with confidence. Even in our long barreled 26 inch rifles and in our 458 caliber 500 grain smooth sided bullets from the NOE mold for the 458 Winchester Magnum you can see this bullet is cast very hard. You try and dent the space you don't get any denting at all with your fingernail. It is hard. Well we flatten it down and you can see that in this high stress area right here the powder coat stayed on nicely. So once again this periwinkle gray from Eastwood is a successful powder and the aqua is also a very successful powder for our use as you can see there. We can shoot these with confidence right up to magnum velocity in our 458 Winchester Magnum. So this is the testing that we do for our powder coated bullets and for our high tech bullets. Hope this helps and take care. Good shooting to all of you out there. Fortune Cookie 45 LC. Bye for now.